In this video, we we'll go over an SAT math problem that deals with projectile motion. This problem says a quadratic function can be used to model the height and feet of an object above the ground in terms of time and seconds after the object was launched. According to the model, an object was launched in the air from a height of 0 feet and reached a maximum height of 64 feet 2 seconds after it was launched. Based on the model, what was the height and feet of the object 1.5 seconds after it was launched? All right, so this problem deals with projectile motion. The equation for that is h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v naught t plus h naught, where v naught is our initial velocity, h naught is our initial height. Now look at this, this is a quadratic, so we have a parabola, our a is negative, so it is concave down. And then this problem, they give us two points. So initial height was zero feet, so we got zero, zero. At zero seconds, it was zero feet high. And at two seconds, it was 64 feet high. Now this is the maximum height, so this is our vertex, two comma 64. Now we can use the vertex form of a parabola, which is h of t is equal to a t minus h squared plus k, where h k is our vertex. And we saw that our a is negative 16. So we can plug in negative 16. And then t minus our h was 2, and our k was 64. Okay, so that'll be our equation. If you want to find the height after 1.5 seconds, that's going to be our, our t value. So 1.5. h of 1.5 will equal negative 16 times the quantity 1.5 minus 2 squared plus 64. Or negative 16 times negative 0.5 squared plus 64. And if you enter this into your calculator, that will give us 60. Okay, so after 1.5 seconds after its launch, it will be at a height of 60 feet. Now, if you didn't know the projectile motion equation with the negative 16 t squared plus v naught t plus h naught, you can figure out the a using the vertex form of a parabola. So let's check that out. So we look at the vertex form h of t six to a t minus h quantity squared plus k. We can use our vertex that we have, 264, and the point that we have, 0, 0, to figure out what a is equal to. So we can separate an equation, 0 equals a, and our t is 0 minus 2 quantity squared plus 64. Okay, so we're plugging in our 0, 0 point, 0 for our time, 0 for our height. We want to solve for a, so we get 0 equals a times negative 2 squared plus 64. Negative 2 squared is 4, so we have 4a plus 64. We want to subtract 4a from both sides. It gives me negative 4a is equal to 64. Divide by negative 4 on both sides. a is equal to negative 16. Okay, so we can solve for the a. We got negative 16. So now we have h of t is equal to negative 16. t minus 2 quantity squared plus 64. And we want to find the height after 1.5 seconds, so that's h of 1.5. So again, that's going to be negative 16 times the quantity 1.5 minus 2 quantity squared plus 64, which becomes negative 16 times negative 0.5 squared plus 64. And you can put this in your calculator and you get 60. Okay, so that's two ways to do it. If you didn't know the projectile motion where the a is negative 16, you can solve for a. 
and then put that in the vertex form and then plug in your 1.5 seconds. So that's how you solve projectile motion problems on the SAT. Thank you. If you want to learn more SAT math, remember to check out our channel, J Digital Tutoring. We have a playlist of SAT math videos that will help improve your score.